1955, the government established Mulago School of Nursing and Midwifery and has been training students at certificate and diploma levels. After 68 years, the school's management says it's time for the government to move up from the diploma level to start teaching degree students since they have all the requirements. The request has been made by the principal of the school, Nampima Iva Kakonge, at the 12th graduation ceremony where 548 students have graduated with diplomas in the different fields. This request has been made by the principal of the school, Nampima Iva Kakonge, at the 12th graduation ceremony where 548 students have graduated with diplomas in the different fields. The principal Nampima Iva Kakonge is confident that the graduates have the ability to compete in the job market in Uganda and other countries. Since my tenure, we have had several achievements, but allow me just to mention a few. Among them, guess of honor, we have registered steady fastness in academic performance. Right now, as we talk, we are at 97% performance rate. The limited number of medical and midwifery tutors sponsored by the government is a challenge for the school. Also a prayer of understaffing. We would like as much as possible to provide quality nursing care training in this institution. But at times, we are handicapped because of the few human resources that we are having on the ground. This is our prayer. The acting director, Bitivit, and commissioner for health, education, and training in the Ministry of Education and Sports, Hajat Dr. Safina Kisumusene, says they are reviewing the curriculum for the medical practitioners, more so the palliative care. Just to provide the same services every now and then, but continuously learn to improve your competences. And also go back at school and achieve more papers than you have today. The State Minister for Public Service, Grace Mary Mugasa, says the government is committed to address the unemployment challenge and promised the school that the tutor's problem will be handled. Through your stewardship, we need more staff here. I've read through quickly. I've read through. Most of them are being paid locally here. And the ones who, who are paid here locally are more than what we are paying as government. This is an embarrassment. I think we need to work together to make sure we increase the working staff here and pay them. High Education Minister John Chrysostom Moyingo pledged to work with the school to ensure that the problem of inadequate buildings is addressed. I'll give them all my support to have them get the best for this country. The best I, I mean in terms of skills. A teacher or a nurse who is a diploma holder would perform slightly better than the, the one who, who, who has got a, a certificate. I'm looking at this as uh, this, this, this is improvement in the acquisition of the skills. At the same ceremony, Minister Mingo inaugurated the fencing wall that has been constructed. I hereby commission this gate, the gate of Lagos School of Nursing and Midwifery, on the 20th October 2020.